What's going on out there, everybody? It's your boy Ronnie, back with another Ronnie rant. Uh, we're just leaving the studio, um, working on that 23 Heartbeats podcast. Uh, we got a two-part episode, hopefully, uh, in the works coming up here. Uh, we just got to edit it down and get some stuff uh, situated for it. I uh, apologize we weren't able to do it on Facebook Live this time, but our next one will definitely do our best to make sure that we're on Facebook Live. Uh, you know, and again, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go to my Dope Is Me page, Dope Is Me 23. Um, go to Kent Gant Jr. Uh, on his Facebook and his Instagram. Check out the 23 Heartbeats book. Uh, check out How to Produce Pro- Prosperity. Um, all the stuff we got going on. Uh, the website, like I said, we're still working on getting the website back running right. So if you guys are looking for any type of apparel, I'm going to be posting all that stuff on my Facebook uh, Dope Is Me page. I'm going to be posting all that stuff on my Instagram page. DM me or inbox me for prices. Uh, it's the best way to do it right now to not worry about the, the hassle. Uh, you won't have to worry about taxes and their wholesale prices. Um, we've already had a couple people, you know, DM me for a couple orders today um you know so again guys if you're looking for any type of apparel that i got going on right now just dm me so i can get that stuff out to you um uh congratulations to uh cushion kells she uh actually won our free t-shirt giveaway on instagram please go check her stuff out she has a wee tube uh her video channel she talks about marijuana and cannabis stuff cbd stuff hemp everything y'all go check her out she's awesome uh this rant is actually going to be, I don't know, I've had a little, a couple conversations with some people, and, uh, you know, I've heard, I've been hearing some different things about people trying to do their own businesses, or trying to make money for themselves, work for themselves, to not have to have the nine to five job, you know, anymore, and I'm hearing a lot of people, like, criticizing others that are trying to do something like if someone's trying to come out with their own jewelry or if someone's trying to come out with their own product and people are like you can't do that or no one's gonna buy that or you know the biggest the biggest one that i get is you know oh you do printed wear i got a cousin that can do that that's no big deal all right well let me walk you through let me walk you through the process that i can see all right, you're right. Your cousin definitely can go do can, can can definitely go make sure that you can get some sort of custom apprentice wear or whatnot. You know, okay. Let's say you want a hoodie. You want to go to Walmart, Target, whatever. Nine times out of ten, your hoodies for the quality for we'll say a decent quality hoodie is probably going to run you at least fifteen dollars plus tax we'll go ahead and add on about another three bucks so you're sitting here eighteen dollars just for the hoodie right now that you're about to put some uh, you know custom print on okay depending on what type of print it is i mean if you're getting stencils and you're getting you know uh you know anything else i mean some places you could pay 50 cents to a dollar per letter some places i mean depending on what type of stencils if you want cursive you want just the regular times new roman type stuff you want something like that so for every letter i mean let's just say it's a dollar you know let's say it's 50 cents a letter that's 13 dollars right there added right on to you you know so now what we're sitting at about what 31 bucks already before we've even started the shirt now you got to worry about the printing press You know, if you're using ink, you know, if you're using some digital print or, you know, anything like that, you know, so you got to worry about that too. That's going to be in cost. You got to take into cost the effect of your ink, take cost of, you know, the stencils, the time consuming to do all of one shirt. And you're already probably sitting at least 40 something dollars, 40 to 50 bucks that you've had to use for all your products and everything just for this shirt that your cousin can do. It's not that simple. Like, it's not. You know, because not only are we, depending on what you do, what I do is, is, is POD. It's print on demand. I find different designs. I create different designs. I collaborate with different designers. And we digitally design these things. On top of that, 
we have to find a platform in order for us to sell our product on, which nine times out of ten either means you have to create, build your own website, or you have to find like a Shopify, a e-commerce, a WooCommerce, some sort of site. You have to find a fulfillment center unless you're going to fulfill everything yourself. And if you're going to fulfill everything yourself, you actually need to find a wholesale provider. You need to get a resale license or a DBA or a business license or an LCC or file as a sole proprietor. You have to get a, an employee identification number. You got to prove your residency, prove that, you know, this, the shop is at a physical address. Not only that, you have to, again, like I said, you got to create a website. You know, so, you know, not, we're not just putting pictures on a shirt and selling it. We're not just putting letters on a shirt and selling it. We are web designers, graphic designers, print designers, advertisers, entrepreneurs, promoters, because not only that, we got to find a place to put this out for everyone to see. Instagram, Facebook, you know, YouTube, it's not it was easy anybody would do it walmart would be out of business because everybody would be making their own stuff you know like it, it, it i'm not gonna lie it pisses me off whenever you know i try to explain this to somebody and i'm like you know hey this shirt costs 20 bucks you're like 20 bucks man please i can go 10 10 15 dollars and get made my own okay that's fine for the quality of shirt that i provide you for the shipping and handling that i provide you for the type of design that I provide you, for, you know, the packaging, for the promoting, all that, you know, that, if we really were to sit down and, and, and uh, analyze a lot of this stuff, we actually come out on the losing end, because our profit margin is not that big unless we're selling a lot. I mean, for your twenty dollars, you're complaining about twenty dollars. After we have actually deducted the cost of the shirt itself, the designs themselves, the shipping and handling that we have to pay for. I mean, we're coming out five to seven dollars a shirt sometimes, ten dollars a hoodie. You know, like you have to become a little bit of a businessman, businesswoman, business person in order to actually try to sell a t-shirt. You know, you have to come up with multiple shirts, multiple designs, multiple things. You have to do the whole, you know, trial and error, what's gonna actually sell. You know, you have to figure out your taxes and all that because now, on top of that, and people don't realize this either, a lot of us have other nine to five jobs. I am a full-time salary assistant manager. I work 50 hours a week. So whenever I'm trying to promote my stuff, whenever I have free time, I try to promote anything that I have. I try to, I have two to three hours a day devoted to trying to do my designs. On top of that, I'm a driver for Postmates as well. Postmates is what is funding all of my dopamine stuff right now. You know, like we don't just sit up here and expect to oh we just put stuff on a t-shirt and we're just gonna sell it out to you and we expect to get rich type deal it's not like that man it's a lot of hard work you know it's a it's t i mean for me to try to get all my designs and put them on shirts or put them on you know different apparels find the right product that i want to put certain things on i mean that's time consuming sometimes it can take me two to three hours just to get five or six designs done you know and to like all the people that are, you know, like uh, trying to put together their own arts and crafts type stuff. And I can see people like, oh, ain't nobody going to buy that. Don't put your values because you can't necessarily sell anything or you don't believe in yourself enough to try to, you know, do something for yourself. I mean, in this world, we're all supposed to be able to express ourselves, what we love. And nine times out of ten, people that are trying to do this entrepreneurship type stuff. We're just trying to express what we love and what we like to what we like to do and what makes us happy to the world. And you know, again, it's not all about trying to get rich. I don't think anyone necessarily goes in it to 
oh, I'm going to get rich off of this stuff. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. Monetary value is it would be amazing. I mean, if you can find a nice shirt and people are steadily buying stuff, then yeah, that's, I mean, that's the graces of God right there. But, you know, a lot of times we just have a, we need an outlet and this is our outlet. Don't try to, don't shine on, don't try to, you know, squash my dreams or try to, you know, tell me that I can't do this or no one's going to buy anything from you or no one's going to do anything. I've started my brand and everything about two or three weeks ago. We're already up to almost 650, almost 700 followers, you know, on Instagram. I can put a video out and get close to 100 views now when I never thought that was possible. You know, I'm getting so much support and I'm getting so much, you know, you know, love from other people who are also doing designs, who are also trying to promote their YouTube channels, who are trying to promote their products and everything, you know, and I love the fact that at least in that sense, the people who are doing the same thing, it's like a little community. We all want to see each other succeed. So when someone from the outside in, you know, is coming in and trying to tell you that you can't do this, you can't do that, no one's going to buy nothing, no one's going to care about your site, no one's going to work squash all that man you know i use that as motivation to try to strive to do better i mean you don't understand how much self-motivation you have to have in order to start your own business you don't know how much money you might have to invest you don't know how much time you have to invest you don't know or understand you know what it truly means to try to work for yourself until you actually try to work for yourself. So if you see people out there that are trying to promote something, trying to get their brand out there, trying to get their name out there, don't sit there and talk shit. Don't sit there and tell them, no, y'all ain't gonna ever do nothing. No, man, if you see it, you don't have to say nothing. Hit a like, hit a random subscribe, hit a random share, hit a random, you know, hey, I see what you're doing. Keep up the good work. Because that motivates us. I mean, at least I know that motivates me. Whenever I can go on my page and see a bunch of people saying, hey, I like your page, man. Keep up the good work. Or, hey, keep pushing your stuff, man. Everything, you know, is going to work out whenever it needs to work out. I love seeing that and stuff. And I try to do that myself, you know. And, uh, I mean, with the success of this site right here, I mean, it's helping me branch out to another site. I have another site, Flight Booking USA. I mean, we're sitting up here trying to, uh, we can give up to about, you know, 75, 80% on flights and hotels and cruises and car rentals and everything. And if it wasn't for this site, my dope is me stuff. I know for a fact I would have never gotten the opportunity to work with this company. I know for a fact that I would have never got an opportunity to get another website that's my own website to run, to, you know, help run this company. And, you know, that's all from me just having, you know, to sit down and think to myself, me working at McAllister's, me doing what I'm doing now is not enough. You know, what's enough is me doing something to make me extra happy, to make me satisfied with my life, you know, give me some sort of purpose and something to strive to and look forward to every day. I mean, I get up in the morning and I'm like, bro, I got like four designs in my head I got to get down. I'm at work, I'm like on my phone or on my tablet trying to get a bunch of designs together. I'm promoting stuff when I'm at work. As soon as I get home, I mean, I change, I drive for Postmates for about two or three hours, and then I come right back to the house, and nine times out of ten, I'm on that computer designing. I will, I, sometimes I have to go to work at eight in the morning. I work from eight to five. I'll drive from five to ten. I'll do my designs from ten till about two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning. And then sometimes be right back up at 7.30 to go right back to work. But you know, at the end of the day, it's going to pay off for me. I'm going to do all this hard work now. So when I look back a year from now, I'm going to be like, yeah, I, this is where, this is the right decision and everything. And like I said, people, if you feel like you can't do something, that's fine. 
not everyone is cut out to be their own boss. But at the same time, don't squash other people's dreams that are trying to do this. If you're trying to do your music, if you're trying to do your art, photography, I see so many good people doing like photography and stuff right now. Please shout out to my boy uh, Demetrius, Jariah Photography. Um, I see a whole bunch of people doing like their music and stuff. You know, Rashad, my cousin, I mean, he over 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, you know, 26, I think he's got almost 30,000 views on YouTube and everything, you know, like, people feed off of negativity, anytime something like the whole Pastor David mess, you know, people feed off of, off of negativity, and it's up to some of us to try to get people to feed off of positivity, and I mean, that's all I'm trying to say, I know this rant was probably a little bit longer than usual or whatnot, but you know, I just had a, I had a few things to kind of get off my chest, you know, and like I said, when I, when I heard that, 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 that really did piss me off, because I mean, again, we aren't just people who put things on shirts, or people who just put sticks and stones together and call it art, or you know, nah, we are entrepreneurs, designers, photographers, web designers, you know, uh, promoters, uh, you know, YouTube influencers, Instagram influencers, creators, painters, you know, business uh, men and women, you know, we're more than just putting an image on a shirt. And that's all I'm saying. Again, guys, this has been another Ronnie Rant. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, check out our channel, you know, let's get this thing going. We're trying to come up with videos constantly So hopefully that uh, we can get some more views going get a nice little following Please check out my dope is me 23 page on Instagram. It's on Facebook uh, DM me for prices again. I'm gonna be putting a lot more of my designs up um, And again check out my new site flightbookingusa.com. I'm telling you it's basically like Priceline, Kayak, Hotels.com, all that all rolled into one. We actually compare all those platforms to get you the best deals. Um, we can get you deals from Jet Radar, Ava Sales. I mean, we have car rental companies, you know, under our belts right now. We're starting to get into the cruise business. I mean, we have like those little, those little old school sailboat cruises, the big cruises, your own type of little, if you want to have a little party or whatnot for your you know we have those type of little small boats and everything um please like i said check it check it out i got the page going up for that again flight booking usa uh it's already on instagram it's already on twitter um again guys thank you for all the love and the support for my dope is me page like i said we're almost at 700 followers right now we started this thing about two or three weeks ago and it's been bumping and i, I really appreciate it like you guys don't understand you know how thankful i am for the people that like on my page for the people that subscribe to my page to the people that view any video that i put up you know thank you thank you thank you um i couldn't do any of this stuff without the love and support of you guys and it keeps pushing me to try to come up with more designs um i got um some occupational tees hobby tees and funny tees going you know that's what i'm going to be focusing on and then once i get some tees going i'll try to dive back into the leggings and socks and everything um but guys again if there's anything that you want to do in life if there's anything that you know you want to accomplish just keep your head up fuck the haters f the critics do you stay blessed and as always enjoy everything dope